Hey Scrabble fans, Will Anderson here, and today I'm going to help you better know the Z. There's only one Z in the set of 100 tiles used in Scrabble. However, it's worth a whopping 10 points, placing it firmly within the power tile class of letters. Not everybody is a fan of the Z. For example, I once did a strategy Q&A thread on Twitter in which a player asked for advice about how to use the Z, saying she felt like she got screwed every time she drew it. Her words, not mine. So what's the deal? Is the Z a good tile or not? In Scrabble, you should always be looking for plays that use all seven of your tiles, otherwise known as a bingo, because you'll earn an extra 50 bonus points, the Scrabble equivalent of a home run. But the Z just isn't a very good letter to help you achieve that goal. Fair warning, I've included a bunch of graphs to help you understand the Z, but if you just want to know whether it's good or bad, skip ahead to the 5 minute mark. It's not all bad news for the Z with respect to playing bingos. At the very least, it outperforms the rest of the power tiles by a solid margin. As you can see, there are roughly twice as many bingo length words containing a Z as there are words containing the Q and J. But overall, the Z lags well behind the rest of the consonants as a bingo tile. This chart shows how many bingo length words contain at least one of each consonant. You can see that the Z is way down towards the bottom. That means very few 7 and 8 letter words contain the Z. On the other hand, you are likely to score a boatload of points with the Z, and you only need to learn a few more words to do it. The Z's 10 point face value and solid synergy with many of the most common vowels will frequently give you options to score anywhere between 30 and 70 points. Make sure that when you use the Z, you play it in conjunction with a bonus square, either by placing the Z on a double or triple letter score, or by placing your full Z word on a double or triple word score. Which tiles work best with the Z? First, let's look at the vowels. Because we've established that it's very difficult to bingo with the Z, we'll focus on words containing the Z between two and five letters in length. These are the words you're most likely to play with your Z. Without a doubt, the most important Z word to know is ZA, an abbreviation for pizza. I can't say I've ever heard anybody refer to pizza as ZA, but I'm glad that somebody out there does. Because with this word, you can get 20 points for your Z alone, without the aid of a bonus square, 40 points with a double letter score, and a whopping 60 points with a triple letter score. Note that the more expansive International Scrabble Dictionary also contains ze and zo, giving your Z even more options to score big. But the synergy between the Z and the A goes further than just a quick slice of za. You can see that among this set of short to mid-length Z words, 41% also contain an A, almost as many as contain an E. There's also solid synergy with both the I and the O. The O pairs particularly well with the Z, thanks to several frequently seen Z words containing the O, where the Z is the only consonant, including Zoa, Azo, Zu, Ooze, Zoea, and Uzo. Among consonants, the R is particularly well represented in Z words, with honorable mention to the Y. Although there are only two Ys in Scrabble's tile set, it appears more frequently alongside the Z than many letters with much higher representation in the tile set, like the T and the L. Notice the very low percentages for both the W and especially the V, two tiles that do not work well with the Z. The Z doesn't play well with the other power tiles. There are very few words containing both the Z and the J, the Q, or the X. Odds are good if you have these combinations that you'll have to use each of the two one at a time. Interestingly, a surprising 11% of Z words contain a second Z, words like fuzz, jazz, raz, and buzz. But again, with only one Z in the set, you'll rarely have occasion to play these double Z words. Let's recap what we've learned about the Z. 
Although the Z outperforms its power tile peers in its ability to bingo, the Z is still a poor bingo tile overall. But the Z makes up for that shortcoming and then some as a scoring tile. It turns vowel heavy racks into great scoring opportunities and pairs well with most other consonants to consistently score in the 30 to 70 point range. For these reasons, I'm giving the Z a rating of four and a half stars. As I said on Twitter, the Z is one of the best tiles in the game, and you should consider yourself lucky, not screwed, when you draw it.